Suave's Milk and Honey. I have loved this from the beginning. I can tell they changed the formula because they've changed the packaging and allegedly there is a new formulation along with rebranding. That's, that's allegedly the thing that goes on here. I'm curious to see what the lasting power is. What is the difference in formulation? This is where if you have a particular favorite body wash, it is very important and it is very imperative that you have that going so that if they do happen to change the formulation then you would know the difference by the time you buy the new one if you plan to buy the new one most people don't know this they're not aware and that's absolutely fine but get into the habit of you know recognizing when a brand changes a particular scent or a product and it looks different looks different does not mean it performs the same this is not shade this is for your awareness because I want the best for you all. Now, that being said, I went through those changes with Caress Liquid Gold, sorry, Evenly Gorgeous, that has now been renamed to just the, the scent notes alone, shea butter and brown sugar. And so while it smells incoherently the same, while it smells pretty much the same, I can tell some things are different. I can tell that before it went to its latest change and before it went to its latest formulation, there had been a problem with the scent beads that were originally in it, you know, like the uh, red ones all throughout that gorgeous gold liquid body wash. They got rid of the scent beads and had, they had made a note on the packaging, not the current packaging, the packaging maybe one or two times before they have their latest formulation and rebranding that it is now. And so maybe they had issues, maybe consumers were complaining. And so they decided to get rid of the famous red scent beads to go along with the red dress that the lady was wearing. And they got rid of the red dress the lady was wearing too. So I'm all, I'm all for rebranding but keep the originality of things now that i have to give kudos to caress the reason why i'm not saying anything about suave is because one the rule here on this channel is if i haven't tried it yet even if it's a reformulation it would not be fair for me to give any opinions on it nor recommend it and so i the last time i tried this I ain't gonna lie to you back in 2020 or before 2020 came into effect and that's been nearly four years ago so it would not be fair for me to say, oh, well, it ain't performing the same or giving up. Because what would I have to form? What opinion would I have to form? I've not gone back to buy this yet in nearly four years. If you would like to see more videos like this where I am just simply sharing what is in stores and what I see in stores, no matter what it is or whether or not it is new to me, then on either side, there should be a playlist for you all to enjoy. Until next time. Love you. When I think about love, it's one of the bravest things that you can do. It is patient, it is kind, it does not envy or boast, and it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking, nor is it easily angered or seething mad and it keeps no records of wrongs it has no pleasure in evil but it rejoices in the truth and most of all 